By subscribing today, you get the Fisherman Magazine every week, the chance to enter the Dreamboat Challenge, and unlock the great features of the new Fisherman website. Okay, we just taken this jig out of one of the molds, let it cool off a little bit, and what I do is I clean up the eyes, and I file down all the unnecessary lead that's on it, and I also take off the eyes because I put my own special 3D on them, and we just file them down until it's flat on both sides. And what we do then is we take some of the special clear that I have and put a little bit on around the neck. And we take the thread and we wrap it around several times, make sure it's on there. So that's basically a glue that you just put on there? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's not the hardest nails, it's something else. I just haven't taken the the uh, the paper off of it. Okay, we get this like that. And we take some white deer hair and what we do is take clumps of it nice. I'm using a 3-0 jig head so we try to keep the hair all the way back to go past the hook and we wrap it around and what I do is I flare it out a little bit Try like a mold and make it look good. So that's yeah. basically all by hand you're doing to give it that all flare. All by hand. It's not just throwing the hair on and wrapping no. it and being done with it. No. But there's a little technique to it. Yeah. And we just keep going round and round, building it up. It's not, <laughs> a lot of times these things, they're not very pretty looking as you're building them. And sometimes they're not even that pretty after you build them. It's after you get it all together and and you dip them in the clear that I I put them in. First what I do is I paint them with a primer coat in white and then after it dries in 15 minutes then I put another coat on and then that's when I begin to tie. So that's basically a rough right. painted mold right yeah. there and now you're getting the hair on and right. everything. Right, and just putting the hair and you make it look pretty, take off all the, the excess, you know. And look at it, it's actually flaring out pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. There are a lot of different laws that don't flare out because they're trying to be more streamlined but this one has the big collar on it. I'm going to try to make it look nice and heavy. This, this one works very well on a lot of different things. Uh, I have customers that come in here and buy them fishing around the rocks at demo and they buy them in a five ounce. This is a three ounce right here. Okay and that would be considered a smiley sandwich? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and then I I put on the the lips. Yeah, you don't have to get crazy with the paint with the lips. I use a, a big magic marker like this, and that's what I put the lips on with two coats. I try to put a lot of coats of everything on, so this way it hmm, lasts simple. longer. Just a plain you know? sharpie marker. Yeah. That's nice. So I used to do it by hand with the regular paint, and it didn't always seem to come out well. And red for some reason just it didn't stay on. You know, nice. So, and just move the pair around, try to keep a little, you know, cover up some of those gaps. And flip it around a little bit, tighten it up. So you're actually putting quite a bit of uh, bucktail oh, on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How many jigs you think you can get with one bucktail? It depends on the size that I use. Sometimes okay. if I use a three-quarter ounce, I can get anywhere for almost up to nine, oh, wow. ten, maybe. And as this, the size gets bigger, and when you use these, it's the collar is so much bigger compared to, say, like the Spro ones that I was building earlier today. Gotcha. Um, it's a very small collar. It's a, just a smaller collar. Uh, I have one here that's in a in a four row, and you can see the difference of the size of the collar compared to this right, one. Right, it's a much smaller one. Right, so it doesn't take as much hair, but you could still make it flare out and look good. But a lot of guys don't want some of them don't want to flare; they want a more streamlined. Right. Well, the flare is probably going to sink right. slower in the current. Well, 
bucktail does go down a little bit slow. That's why a lot of guys are asking me now to build everything in nylon. Not so hollow, fast, it like sinks a faster. But some of those guys also that fish with a schnook down there want to use bucktail also. It just depends what you like. But everything has a purpose. So Let's now what we do is when we take the thread, now we start building it up. Okay. And I try to hold it back, you know, so this way there's no hair that overlap. Right. And then I just go round and round and round. And right now I'm using a lighter thread than I normally use. I usually use Big Fly. Uh, this is the red I have at the moment on it. Yeah, it takes going. quite a bit of thread to actually oh, yeah, get that on there. But I'm trying to get it all nice and even. I can't. I, I, growing up and seeing jigs being made as a kid, there you know, with strings hanging out all over the place, uh -huh. and you know, just I try to do make it look as nice as possible. So not to. You know, the cell fishermen or the fish are going to notice that it's a nice job. It's it's that the hair is on there and it's right. going to stay on there and you're going to be able to use it. Well, a lot of guys, you know, you know, pull the hair, you know, see, you know, and it's not coming out. So that's the quality you know, of the jig, right. which makes your jigs the best. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so I try to build it up in the back a little bit more and try to make it look nice. Because that's my personal preference yes. to make it look nice. And then I take some flash. It's definitely coming together there. It's starting to look like a lure now. And what we do is I'll take some crystal flash. I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 12 pieces. So I don't even count them anymore. I just, this is, that looks beautiful. And I throw them on there. And one, two, three wraps. And then I try to. Hey, I can see that flash right now coming yeah. through the screen. And then some people call me up and they want other stuff in there. Some want other things that I have in the shop and stuff. People come in here and they just, they look around and, you know, they just pick out stuff that I have and they want to see what it looks like and we try to compare it and, and lay it down on some of the other jigs that I have with nothing, no flash or anything on them. I just try to cover that up. I coat it up with this. This is the first coat. Make sure and that's that stay. glue again. Yeah, and then make sure. It's actually the clear paint itself. And when I put this on, it's it looks like the coating that would be on a rod or would be on a cue stick. I got you. You know, and I just pour it on. And this only takes about 15 minutes to dry. And then what I can do is then I put it in the big mm -hmm. container and what I do with the magic marker now is I take it off. I usually do this after I give it to Coach because this is a permanent marker. Right. I just run it across like this, freehand. So it's a little lipstick. That's all it is. Sometimes it looks like when your crazy grandmother puts on the lipstick, it's all over the place, like Bozo. I like that's my favorite. And I try not to hook myself. Don't we? You've done that already. Yes, I have. <laughs> and if I did it again, Sammy wouldn't be too happy. You always can have a job at Revlon now, too. Yes, I could. <laughs> so, and I just put it on, and I give two coats of this too. You know, after it's done, it's permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. And then after I do that. Blood. And then we put the eyeballs on. And I use a 3DI made in Wisconsin. And sometimes I use several different sizes. Sometimes I have customers say, oh, Johnny, I love the eyes. You think you can make them bigger? And I've gone over with several people about do you catch more fish with eyes or you don't catch more fish with eyes? I guess that's a, would be a standing argument. Usually on this 301, I use this size eye. Okay. And then after, I'll, after 15 minutes, then I'll dip that. That's your hand right clear. There. And this is what it comes out to look like. Oh, this right. one just needs, I give it one more coat of red, you know, and that's ready to go. And I clean out the, uh, I clean out the eye socket. And, okay, so now yeah. what we do with the jig, after this, the first coat is dry, is I take it. Now I've already painted the lips and a lot of times the lips, the, the red will go into the can here. Because that's why I always try to do that last so it doesn't drip. But this stuff is pretty high uh, octane. And I drip it in there, so as you can see now, the whole head and the threads are all coated. Gotcha. Okay, that's the first coating. 
Okay, now we let this sit up here. And we'll move that back a little bit. And just let that drip, it doesn't take that long. And then what we do after, and you can see how it tries to close up the, uh, the, the gap right, of the yeah. threads. Like this one here. And that's why, you know, you get almost like that, that you know, uh, rod look, mm -hmm. you know. And this hair is not coming out. I mean, I mean I'm really pulling on it, and I don't want to get hooked again. Um, yeah, it's locking it's in pretty in, good. It's not coming out. And you know, bass is going to pull out. A bluefish will destroy. A bluefish sure, will destroy true. anything. But a bass is not pulling that hair out.